with Hair 101. Today we're going to do another 4th of July hairdo. And once again, we're going to be using the Ice Spiker Colors Gels. You can buy these online or from Peerless if you have a local beauty supply. Peerless is the place. Um, I have red, white, and blue. And also, I picked up some of these sparkly pipe cleaners from Walmart for a couple bucks. A big pack for a couple bucks. And they're super fun to decorate in hair. So we're going to use that too, a blue one. So today we're going to have dry, straight hair. And we're going to start by parting, so comb it out, and then we're going to take, we're going to take like four or five stripes until about here. So we're going to do about inch to inch and a half stripes. And we're going to do them just um, behind the ear. So go ahead and take that first square. And we're going to have Daisy hold this. Put your hand on top of your head. There we go. And we're just going to put an elastic in that one. Now this is going to look like a flag over her top of her head. And if you don't have the, the gels, you could still just do the hairstyle without it. It'll still look like stripes and then you can do the little star on the side. Alright, so we have the first one in. We're going to take another stripe. Okay, let go. Right there. Alright, Daisy, hold that again right there. Right here? Right here on top of your head. So just put your hand on top of it like give your head five. There you go. And then put an elastic in that one. make sure that I'm doing the elastic as far to the back of these little triangle or rectangle, ha, <laughs> don't know the shapes, these little rectangle pieces. Alright, let go. And I always make sure in the back here that I'm going to do the straight line. So all of these are going to have a straight line that goes back. So make sure that you're parting off the right spot so that they don't go all crazy. And if you have some little flyaways in the front, you can just shoot them with some hairspray. There we go. What should we do for Fourth of July, Daisy? Um, we should do Fourth of July, Fourth of July next day. Ooh, that's a good idea. We'll do that for sure. What else should we do? Um, should we have a party? Yeah. Do you want to have fireworks or no fireworks? Fireworks. goes on the um, 4th of July, right? Yeah. You can wear whatever you want, huh? Mm -hmm. As long as it's what colors? What colors does it have to be? Um, 4th of July colors. Right. What are those? Red, white, and blue. Good. Okay, so, so I have my five sections up here, and then the rest of it, there's going to be this square. 
right here. I'm going to take all of that back and put that in one ponytail. And I'm going to pull up kind of a little higher than right in the middle. So that's going to be our, our star area. All right, so now we're going to have some fun with our color gels. So I'm going to get the red and the white, and I'm going to alternate red and white stripes on these stripy parts. Like a What pack. do you want to start with? Um, white. White. Okay, we're going to start with white. That's some good advice from Daisy because if you started with red, then it would be hard to keep the white out of it when you stick them on. So we're going to go over here, and we're just going to smear it on with our fingers, and it's kind of thick, so you'll have to like manipulate it a little bit. And try to keep it off of the face and ears. There we go. This just washes out with shampoo. It is water resistant, so if they play in the sprinklers or something, or go to a parade and get sprayed, it should be fine. It won't run into their eyes or come out or anything. It needs shampoo and water to work out. And then, we're, okay, so we're going to skip this one because it'll be red and then we'll just jump to this one. Go ahead and smear the white on. And she has blonde hair, but the white still shows up pretty good. If you had like a really, really light blonde, you would be able to just skip the white. You could just do the red every one and every other one. sure that I get back into this part back here right at the square so that it looks more like a stripe. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> okay and then we'll do this one right here the last white one. ones that are hanging out in the front. Let's slip them right down. Okay, so as soon as you're done with the white, make sure you wipe your finger off really good because you don't want these colors to smear together because then you'll get pink. And that's not a 4th of July color, is it, Daisy? Uh -huh. No way. We're going to go ahead and do the red now. Okay, so now we have red fingers. Just wipe those off and they'll wash out of the, the towel too, so you don't have to worry about that seeing. Alright. Got a little bit of red over here. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna take my blue and we're gonna fill in the square. And you always put it on with the direction of the hair so that it slicks it down. Alright, so now I'm going to take... Oh, sorry! <laughs> Can I get you? Now I'm going to take um, a washcloth or a towel and just kind of clean up any spots that I got too close to her face. Clean up the line a little bit. Okay, it's pipe cleaner time. 
So we're going to take this and fold it in half and bend it really tight. Right there. And then we're going to just fold both of the corners up and leave about an inch or a little bit less, less than an inch. And so you're going to fold both those down so it's making like a, like a little W shape now. And push those really tight so that you get a sharp corner. And then you're going to go back down and just accordion back and forth. And then do the other side. So you're going to have this little zigzag. Little chevron pattern. That's cute. Okay, we're going to turn it into a star now. So the middle point, you're going to bend those two next to it down. It's already starting to look like our star. And then you're going to bend these two up. So now we have a cute little star. All we need to do is twist these two extra pieces together. And then we're going to pin them in. Alright, so we're going to take it and we're just going to stick it right there on the blue. And we're going to need a bobby pin it in. So I'm going to point the, the little end that we have, the little stem. I'm going to put the bobby pin on that and then shove it into the last, that elastic right there. And we have an awesome patriotic American flag hairstyle. With the back, you can leave it straight, you can curl it, um, you can even pull it into a ponytail if you want to have it up and out of the way. That looks kind of fun. Should we do a ponytail today? Mm -hmm. Make it look like you're wearing a fun 4th of July hat. All right, Daisy, you are done. Thanks for watching. Happy 4th of July.